All right, here is a uh, look on the satellite view of Debbie. Hey, folks, and meteorologist Matt Barentine. Here's all the latest. We're going to be absolutely baking over the next several days, and the reason is because we're basically on the other side of Debbie. So this thing is going to continue to spin over this way. We'll continue to have northerly flow around it, and then we're going to be basically in an oven here for the next several days. So here's what it looks like a little closer in. Doesn't look that impressive on the satellite, but boy, it is going to be dumping a lot of rain already some areas have seen more than a foot and there'll probably be more than a foot of rain in some other areas over the next several days. But look at us. See that light, light green 0.01 Basically, no rain over the next seven days or very little rain is anticipated across our area because this thing is going to be kind of being very squirrely over here, basically almost stalled out. That'll keep the flow the same over our area. I guess very difficult to forecast a tropical system when it goes nearly stationary, as we know, because we saw that with Sally not too long ago. And that's going to be working its way over that way, and the northerly flow will continue across our area. Heat advisory in place. That's not a surprise. We've seen a number of these. We will see more of these in the coming days. The heat index value is easily up to around 108, probably higher than that at points. So here's what that looks like. These temperatures will start to heat on up this afternoon. Lunchtime, we're at 96. In the middle of the afternoon, we'll probably be breaking triple digits out there. Lots of sunshine, no rain. The air will actually be a little bit drier than it typically is here for this time of year in August. Uh, but nonetheless, it's still extremely hot for us here across the area. Look at these heat index numbers. You can see them climbing to about 108, 109 this afternoon uh, with that heat index. So extreme heat. Good way to cool down and be head to the beach because it's only 96 at the beach today. It's cooler there. <laughs> Enjoy that. 97 tomorrow at the beach. It's low rip current risk, though, so that's good news. That'll help us out there. Uh, here's your long range forecast. You can see those triple digits. Yeah, not great, but. Um, you know, we're just kind of stuck in this pattern as that storm spins over there off the Carolinas. And then as we head towards the end of the weekend to the weekend, things will gradually improve. But boy, it's going to be a slow process and probably won't really see any major improvements until next week with rain and returning by Monday and Tuesday of next week. So we'll keep an eye on things for you. But folks, get ready. Just, just be prepared. It is going to be smoking hot the next several days.